There's a nice little western fence lizard trying to sun himself on this log. He looks sleepy. So, just walking a trail and came across this Santa Cruz aquatic garter snake. This would be um, probably a young adult. The Santa Cruz aquatic garter snake is just a subspecies of the aquatic garter snake, which is Thamnophis atratus, or Tratus, however you want to pronounce it. And obviously, it's the subspecies that's found in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Appears to have one bad eye. The other one is nice and clear. So that's how I know that this one is uh, not just in a shed cycle. Really pretty orange belly on this guy. Garter snakes have a strong tendency to musk on you when you catch them. They basically excrete a really smelly substance along with some uh, uric acid and uh, smear it all over you and you end up smelling gross and kind of fishy. Garter snakes have such beautiful dorsal stripes. Dorsal means the top portion of the body on an animal. Now that we've taken a nice look at this guy, I'm going to let him go exactly where I found him. He was just heading um, through the pine needles here into the brush under this manzanita. This uh, appears to be a female adult western fence lizard. So they still have some of the blue coloration on their stomachs sometimes, but it's a lot less dramatic than the males. Also, sometimes they're called swifts. Uh, you might be able to see why that is. Okay, just found my second Santa Cruz aquatic garter snake of the day. He was just crawling through the leaf litter. This is a little baby, a neonate. <laughs> As you can see, this one pooped all over my hand, so that's something you can expect with these guys. And it is quite smelly, but it's always worth it to see a snake to me. So as before, I'm just going to go ahead and let him go where he was. And you'll see him disappear into the leaf litter. So, there are several different ways to look for snakes, really. And um, today, rather than flipping different cover objects looking for them, uh, I've chosen to focus on just silently hiking along the trail. It's a really nice day out, around 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And snakes seem to be out. So this seems to be the most effective way to find them. Alright, so this is the third Santa Cruz aquatic garter snake of the day. It's about the same size as the first one, but I can tell it's a different individual because it doesn't have that orange belly. And then this one does not have a bad eye either. Gorgeous. Look at the green coloration. It's such a vibrant stripe. Surprisingly, this one hasn't musked or pooped on me. It's just tried to bite me a bunch of times. <laughs> so, only one species so far today, but any day that you find multiple snakes is a good day, in my opinion. The common species are very, very beautiful as well. I'm going to go ahead and let him go on his way, just where we found him. <laughs> 